In this video, we will learn how to make a custom Word template to be used in the Microsoft Word export from the MindView software. Begin by creating a new MindView document, select the Mind Map view, and for this example, we will create one main branch with several sub branches, in this case, eight levels. By using the insert key on my keyboard, I will create the secondary levels. These branch levels in MindView directly relate to the section levels in the Microsoft Word document, where the main branch, sub branch, sub sub branch, and so on will be converted into a main section, subsection, and sub subsection of my Microsoft Word document. I will select the MindView icon, select Export from the drop down menu, choose the Microsoft Word Export, and choose Advanced Word Export. I'll select the standard template style, and under the General tab, I will ensure that there is no map image and no table of contents included. Select Export from the dialog, save the mind map to my desired location, and give it a name, and choose Save. By opening the document, we will now see the Microsoft Word file. As you can see, the subject is listed, and the different branch levels have been created. Now it's time to customize the layout. As stated earlier, Heading 1 relates to a main branch. Heading 2 relates to a sub-branch. Heading 3 is a sub-sub-branch, and so on. So all I need to do is optimize the heading style. For this example, let's start with the subject. When relating to the subject, or the title of the document, MindView utilizes the title headline style. So in this example, we will update the heading title style. I left-click the subject, select the title option from the heading style, and right-click. By selecting Modify, I have the option to choose things like the font style and font size. I could change the font color if I'd like to. And by selecting the Format option down below, I can select things like the border and change that border color from black to match the font color blue. By selecting OK and selecting OK one more time, you'll notice that the title has been updated to the blue color and the blue font line. Now I can continue to customize the additional levels. By selecting Heading Style 1, I could decide to right-click and modify. And here I'm able to modify things like, again, the font styles and colors. I also have the option to change things like the numbering. If I don't want to use the numbering scheme that's listed, I could choose the ones, twos, and so on. As you can see, the style has now been updated, and I simply choose OK. Now, in order to, to, to apply this new heading style to all Heading 1 levels, I can simply choose to right-click and choose to Update Heading 1 to match selection. The heading style has now been updated. If I'd like to move forward onto Heading Style 2, again, right-click, choose to Modify, select different font styles and colors if I'd like. Under the Format tab, I could choose things like the border color or again the numbering scheme. If I'd like to use an additional style numbering scheme, I could select the next level, choose OK. As you can see, Heading Style 2 has now been defined to my updated information. To permanently update that style, I simply right-click, choose Update Heading 2 to match selection. And that has now been stored as my Heading Style 2. To continue this example, I've added a logo at the top as a header. I've optimized the different heading styles. And I've even added a footer that will utilize a, a property called subject, which will take the root branch and list it in the footer, as well as the corresponding page number. To make this Word template accessible through the Microsoft Word export in MindView, I need to save this file as a Word template. I choose File. I choose Save As. And from the drop-down list, I need to locate the desired location to save my template. I need to use the drop-down list to choose Word Template, give it a name, and choose Save. 
Now let's go back to MindView. We will now access this saved template. I've launched a pre-made mind map as a business plan. I simply choose the MindView icon. I choose Export, choose Microsoft Word, and choose the Advanced Word Export. In order to select my template, I check the box Use Define Template in Word, browse on my computer for the desired template that I'd like to access, and I choose Open. I then continue with my Word export by selecting the elements I'd like to include, and I simply choose Export. As you can see, MindView has now utilized the new heading style with the heading layouts, the numbering scheme that I've defined, and if I scroll down to the bottom, we now see the footer with the corresponding page numbers.